Hey guys, check this out. Uh, I just got this delivered today. This is my uh, Woodland Mills HM122 uh, portable sawmill. And uh, just got it today. Happens to actually be my birthday. So, um, so I went ahead and ordered this. It took uh, three weeks, uh, a little bit over three weeks to get it. I paid uh, right under 3000 uh, it was like 2500 plus uh, $300 for shipping. And they brought it here on that box truck type thing. Let's open this thing up. It did get a little bent here. I don't think it uh, really harmed anything though. I did get the seven horsepower uh, Kohler engine. You can get a nine horsepower, but it's like three hundred dollars more. So I figured uh, if I I have a bunch of motors anyway, if I don't like this one, I could change it out. I <clears throat> kind of wish I would have bought the track extensions. This thing only cuts uh, ten foot, ten foot five uh, lengthwise, and um, <sighs> the track extensions I think were like three hundred bucks to go like 16 foot or however long you want but i might just try and make some i don't know just yet anyway let's get this thing opened up and see what we got yeah, this is about uh create a little opened up here and you can kind of see it a little bit closer nice blade on here um, so this thing's pretty heavy I'm gonna take the excavator and uh, load it up on the trailer all right guys so I um cleared a bunch of trees from this area and this is where I leave them. I'll put the sawmill. Originally I was just going to kind of temporarily put it on these beams here and um, I think I'm going to go ahead and just pour like a little slab uh, to set it on. So I'm just going to like kind of, it's not going to be anything perfect but I'm just going to fill this with concrete maybe even some like rocks or something to take up some space. And then I'll remove the beams um, which I'm going to use these beams to build um, like another shed for some equipment and stuff. See it's really muddy everywhere so it's making it kind of difficult. We've had a lot of rain but um see what we can do. All right I got a couple stones laid in here just to kind of take up some room and just a little bit of wire mesh. Go ahead and mix this up and start pouring it.
we are all troweled out and level. I'm just gonna wait for this to dry. But it's looking pretty good so far. All right, we'll come back tomorrow. Here we are a couple days later, and it is a muddy mess. It's raining and miserable, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these uh, beams off the sides and see how it looks. But everything looks all nice and level. I put a level on it, and uh, everything's looking good. So let's go ahead and pull these uh, beams off. got the area all nice and cleaned off and uh, this is the end result of the slab so I think it's about time to go ahead and start assembling the mill once I get it assembled I'm gonna go ahead and build like a structure over it um, with the wood that I saw up. so let's go ahead and start assembling this thing
I think we're all, for the most part, put together. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it here on the track. One other thing, y'all be careful uh, working on this thing when you assemble it, man. I I sliced myself all the way down to the bone on the on the blade. I had to get some super glue and glue myself back together. Now let's go ahead and get this thing put on the track. Alright, we got it on here. And that rolls pretty good. Alright, we got some dishwashing soap and some water. I think we're uh, pretty much all set up and done. Uh, I got a temporary cover over it, but I will be building a, a permanent shelter. I already cranked the motor up and uh, broke it in a little bit. So let's go ahead and uh, get a log and get to cutting. we're going to cut on this see if we can go ahead and uh, get it hooked up we'll set these on up and I'll be back So this log had uh, way too much dirt and uh, stuff in it, so I didn't want to dull the blade. But uh, look at all this beautiful wormwood um, designs that they've made in it. Um, I mean, this will be a beautiful piece of wood. See all the worms still in it. This log actually came off of uh, the little log bridge that I made, and um, I still got a probably about seven more logs just like this I cut up you can watch that video uh, it's where I cut down the hickory trees and make a small little bridge but there's just all this beautiful like designs in it however I took the chainsaw around and kind of messed it up I wish I would have never did that but it should be all right I didn't go too deep in some spots I didn't even you know hit it but 
let's finish getting all this peeled off and uh we'll go in Make a beautiful little show for somebody. I had wood like that, I've made my booth out of it, that stone. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that's some beautiful wood there. It almost looks like cedar, but. That's what I thought when I come up, you got a piece of cedar. But it's, it's hickory. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's cutting pretty straight. I'm not seeing any. I got the blade really level on it and everything, so. All right, let's cut it up. beautiful board right there it looks like it's like an antique like ancient you know yeah with some water stain on that that's beautiful like all these little worm holes looks like old nail holes in an old ancient beam or something i got a bunch more of these too it's from letting them sit out and they get the worms in them so yeah this thing's working pretty good i think i got way too much water flowing though So I'd have to say uh, I'm pretty impressed with this little mill. These boards just came out beautiful. 
these hickory boards are just they almost look like cedar but it was a it's a hickory tree so yeah it cuts pretty good um especially you know this is hardwood i'm sure pine would cut a whole lot easier and i got the seven horsepower model which i kind of wish i would have got the nine horsepower but i mean the seven horsepower cuts fine um you know but it would be nice to have it maybe a little bit faster i actually can turn up the speed a little bit on the engine which uh which does help i think it's at like three quarter throttle right now or maybe a little bit over half but i'll mess around with it but for the first first cuts with this thing it uh it works really well and i um, plan to build a bunch of stuff with it show you a couple little things that i did um on this cooling copper cooling thing i added a little piece of that tubing that it came with just so it lands here on the blade and also i bent this a hair because before it was coming out and it would like almost drop right on this thing and i want it to drop directly on the blade so uh so i did that so yeah i plan on uh having some more videos with this thing i will build a um a shelter like uh some type of shed thing over this with all the wood that i make and um so yeah i'll see you guys on the next video y'all take care